Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One overview video series. Today, we're going to be talking about purchasing, and we're going to be specifically looking at landed costs. Now, landed costs, as most of you are aware, uh, are invoices that come in from transportation companies or any types of uh, landed costs that are associated with items that are within the system. So let's go take a look and we'll look at some of the different things that we have here. Under my purchasing module, let's go into our landed costs. And I'm going to go back to one that I have already in the system. So you can get an idea and a view of what we've got going on here. So you can see quite a lot of information that I can have uh, with all of my different costs here. Based on my document, I can also have any kind of customs. There could be some allocated conditions. There could be some warehouse pricing costs as part of that landed cost. Transportation costs, it shows the total goods that are associated with that. The nice thing about this is that as I add this landed costs into the system and I associate that with, we can see this is based on a goods receipt PO that's down there. So let's go in and look at our relationship map and we can see exactly where my landed cost is associated with this goods receipt. I can now apply those landed costs to the items that were part of my receipt here. So we can see down here um, all of that information with my total freight and total landed costs and how it was divided out among the different areas here. We can see that I have customs value that's here. I have some project costs that were associated with this. I have my base document costs. So it's a really nice way for the system to help you uh, assign landed costs to, pacific, to specific goods receipts POs that are within the system. So thank you very much today for listening to my overview video about purchasing landed costs.